So let's see how we deal with addition with decimals. So I'm going to go through this example first, 37.6 plus 82.1. So you just need to make sure that your decimal points line up. So 37.6, 82.1. OK, so make sure the decimal points line up. And so that means that your units column, your tens column and your tenths column, they all line up as well. So the decimal point will follow it down. Six plus one is seven. Two plus seven is nine. Three plus eight is eleven. So one carry the one. And so we have one hundred and nineteen point seven. OK. Now, let's see this. 4.37 plus 59.8. So again, you need to make sure your decimal points line up. Now, generally, I usually put uh, the larger number on the top. It doesn't matter. You could see from this example, I did 37.6 at the top, then 82.1. So you could do that one on the top, that one on the bottom. That is really up to you. OK, I'm going to put 59.8 on the top and then 4.37. So you need to make sure the decimal points line up. 3, 7. And then any empty space to the right that I have here, just fill it with zeros. OK. And now I'm ready uh, to solve, to add them together. So 0 plus 7 is, of course, 7. 8 plus 3 is 11, so 1 carry the 1. Bring the decimal point down. 9 plus 4 is 13, plus the 1 is 14, so 4 carry the 1. 5 plus 1 is 6. So we have 64.17.